Hey guys, it's Sam with The Blind Spot. So, a few minutes ago, I was on my phone and I was looking at the Google Play Store searching for some speech assist applications. And uh, I was just having a hard time. It's, it's not the easiest for me with low vision to, to search through the app on my phone. So I thought I'll jump on the computer. It's much easier. I can zoom it in. It's, it's really big and everything. Um, and then I thought to myself, I bet there's people out there that don't realize you can do all that on your computer and it's much easier. Uh, maybe people that are new to Android. So that's what today's video is going to be about. I'll show you guys how to do it and how easy it is. Okay, so here's the home page of the Google Play site, and it's laid out very similar to the mobile app. You've got new games and featured applications and music and movies and all that kind of stuff here. Over on the left side, we've got categories such as apps, movies and TV, music, etc., etc., etc. Now, the great thing about using this on the website here, this application on the website, is that you can zoom in. Um, it's easier to search. So say I'm looking for some kind of speech application. We'll say uh, maybe we're looking for a speech to text kind of application. Now it shows different categories, apps, books. This one's music and uh, shows you a little preview of the first couple ones. Then you can click on more apps here and then it gives you all these applications that you can check out. So let's see, um, not really sure what I'm looking for. So we'll just take a look at some here. So we'll try this one, speech to text. This looks like something I might be able to use. We have a very clear user interface here, uh, some pictures showing screenshots, there's reviews, and then uh, some similar applications down there at the bottom. We have a description of the app here, and if uh, you're using the Chrome extension that I made a video about before, you can just highlight the text and then click on the speech icon up here and it will read it aloud to you. A simple to use app for dictating text which can be sent as an SMS or email or copied and pasted into another app. So that's pretty cool. So we decide that uh, we can look at some pictures here and we decide yes this is what we want. So we just click on the install button if the application cost any money, it would have a price in this, uh, in this green button here, but it just says install, that means it's free. You can also add it to a wish list. Now, here's the great thing about doing this all online. This window pops up and it gives you the app's permissions, all the things that uh, this app needs to access in order to run. Then you have a drop-down window here, it says choose a device, and if we click on this, we get a drop down of all the devices that we have connected to Google and a nice little picture of it, a description. And then within Google settings, you can go in and, and edit all this if you need to. Uh, at one point in my list, I had about 12 devices because I was doing reviews of devices on my other channel. And anytime I connected to a device through Google, it would automatically put it in the list. So I had to go in and, and delete most of those. Right now, I've just got my Note 4 and then my two tablets, but I just want to send it to my Note 4. So I'm just gonna click on it here. And then you see I've got, now I've got my Note 4, I've got a live video, hello, hello, of my Note 4 screen here, the notification drawer. So as soon as I click install, it's going to automatically send it to my device. So this is all real time, just clicked install. And there's my notification saying that it's being installed. On the screen here, I got a window popped up, says congratulations, and you see it's been installed on my device. So I can just click OK on the screen here, and then I can start browsing for my next application. Don't even have to worry about installing it, because it automatically does it. Works great. So you can see how much easier it is to do this on the computer rather than on your phone or tablet, which has a much smaller screen.
But there you go, guys. That was a real quick tutorial how to use Google Play on a computer to install applications on your device. Thank you very much for watching, guys. If you have any questions, please leave them down below. I'll do my best to help out. But this is Sam with The Blind Spot. I'll see you next time.